So at lunch, uh, we were, it was just a normal day. I was eating a sandwich, and a girl was passing out candy for her student government campaign. She eventually came over to our table. She gave us some candy. One of my classmates, he uh, ate the candy, and he was just sucking on it, and I didn't, he just all of a sudden started choking. I didn't know if he was playing or not, but I, from the way he looked, I just it, immediately got up and came over to him. And the day before that, I was at a steak and shake. I was pretty bored, but I mean, I was excited for my steak burger. And I looked at the poster, just never thinking anything about it, just reading it. Th the next day, I needed to use it, and I did remember it, fortunately. And then I, I got up from my chair, and I started performing the Heimlich, did five pats and two thrusts. Yeah, I, I didn't have any thought on my mind I, just to get that candy out of his throat. The second thrust, the candy dislodged itself from his mouth. And then I just sat down like a normal day and started <laughs> eating the sandwich again. And then the nurse came in and gave me a high five. And I was like, all right, this is an average day. And school went on. Right after, I was like, what did I, I just, I did that. I never would have thought I would ever do that in my life, but I'm proud of myself. And, and I was like calling my dad, and, and I was like, I just, I saved a kid's life. And he was like, what? And I, I told him about it and end the conversation. <laughs> yeah, he was very appreciative. And I was awarded with a challenge coin at the chapel that I had a student government speech for my election. They, um, they gave me a challenge coin, and I got to talk with my friends, family, and I thought that was really cool. I would say be aware of your surroundings and learn the Heimlich and CPR because those are going to be two important things in your life. You don't ever know the future, so you might need them.